You spend your life trying to get rich, and once you get there, you're scared of losing it. Poor people have no idea what money does to you, to the people around you, and to your lifestyle. But by the end of this video, you'll have a list of 15 traps rich people fall into so that when you arrive, you won't be making the same mistakes. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number 1. Lifestyle Jump It's easy. One day, you're broke and living on ramen noodles just a few years ago, and by now you're making millions. But deep down, you're still the same person. The trap is in not losing it. Sure, fix the holes in your life, get some comfort, sleep better at night, but keep the cost of your lifestyle low. Wealth is the ratio between how much you're earning and how much you're spending. You're not wealthy if you earn millions, but spend millions and at the end of the month you're broke. What poor people don't know is that once you make money, you get a target put on your back. You actually need to move into a nicer place in a better neighborhood due to security reasons and better access. But whatever you do, make sure the increase in your lifestyle is substantially less than the increase in your earnings. Number 2. Funding Family Projects It's hard to make a ton of money and see people in your family live regular lives. They all have dreams and wishes. Some even have goals. Now that you find yourself in this fortunate position, you feel like you should be doing more for them, and to some degree, they feel entitled to your help. But the truth is, most of them are in the position they're in because they don't actually have what it takes. They don't have the drive, the smarts, or the hunger to sacrifice everything until they make it, because if they did have the right ingredients, they wouldn't be needing your help. But they don't know that, and you can't tell them that because they'll resent you for it. They'll come to you with all kinds of wacky ideas, with business concepts and small hustles. I just need $50,000 and I'll turn that into a million, trust me. You need to keep all of this under control, and if they're not looking for investments, they want to borrow money. As a rule in life, Never lend money to family members if you're rich. Either consider it a gift and make it clear there's no expectation for it to be returned, or just don't do it at all. There's no way it'll go well. Number 3. Blowing Through the Money You grew up poor, never got any of your favorite toys, and now you can buy anything you want. A few weeks ago, we were talking with Mark Manson, the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F about what happens once you get F.U. money. And his answer? You're gonna buy a bunch of stupid shit. And you gotta make sure you're left with something afterwards. The temptation is there. Do it, but do it with reason, because the things you buy end up owning you. There's a tax for owning things. Those four cars in the garage, they all need maintenance. Those two holiday homes, they need someone to care for them, plus you're going to be paying property tax. Before you know it, you'll be back working in the Red Queen's race, running as fast as you can just to stay in the same place. Number 4. Spoiling Your Kids You want a better life for your kids than the one you grew up with. You want to leave more than just stress for your children. We get it, but the process of shielding them from the world will only make them weak. It won't come crashing down with them, because you'll live for most of their lives. But with the grandkids, they will suffer. They'll be raised by parents who never had to struggle. They never got the calluses on their minds to endure the growing pains. Ideally, you want to give your kids enough so they can do anything they want in life, but not enough for them to be able to do nothing. Number 5. Stop Learning You won money, congrats! Everybody wants to win money, so in their eyes, you're a genius. And they keep telling you that. In every circle you go to, you're considered big-brained, so it's easy to fall into the trap of intellectual arrogance thinking you have all the answers. 
Well, this has two negative snowball effects. One, you dismiss other people's input because of their lack of financial success, so you're missing out on their mastery in other fields. And two, you dismiss making more intellectual progress on your own because by your standards, you've already arrived at your desired destination. But the thing is, life keeps moving, times keep changing, and before you know it, you're a person living in the present, although your mind is stuck in the past. Rich people spend tens of thousands of dollars per year to stay up on top of their game. They pay thousands of dollars per hour to high-performance coaches to keep them focused and elevated. And most people don't have that kind of money, so we did something about it. We paid those coaches on your behalf, and you have access to all of it at a fraction of the cost. Download the Alux app, available for both iOS and Android, and see for yourself just how powerful of a tool this will be to your life. There's a really valuable seven-day experience you can do for free before you realize just how big of an impact the app will have on your life. Number six, random people targeting you. People will always come after what they want, and in this case, it might be your money, your success, or your fame. You'll be sued more often than you expect. People will try to seduce you, and others will behave like friends just to get some of your clout. They're all setting traps for you to fall into, and this is something you have to figure out how to live with. Not everyone is a snake in the grass, but there are definitely some in the garden, so be careful. Number 7. All Work Lifestyle in life, you're more inclined to do things that you're good at. Once you get really good at making money and people start praising you for your ability to turn ideas into gold, it's easy to fall into the trap of doing just that. All you talk about is money. All you think about is money. You're actually a pretty boring person, to be honest. You have no personality. Everything in your life revolves around work and making money. Don't become that person, because honestly, nobody likes being around them. Long term, 10% more money isn't going to make up for the feelings of isolation that, deep down, you know you had other passions that made you feel alive. Passions which you let go of in the process of climbing that money ladder. You need a life outside of work, so figure it out. Number 8 thinking you can do better than your partner. Here's one of the most common situations. You're with your partner pre-money. Through effort and a little bit of luck, your thing catches on and you grow exponentially while they're growing linearly. Before you know it, you're earning 10, 100, 1,000 times as much as they are. They're happy for you and have supported you along the way, even in those hard times when the business kept you up at night. But the spotlight is on you. You're getting a level of interest that you never received before. People are telling you you're special left and right, while your partner starts to look average in comparison with your newfound crew. So the thoughts start creeping in. Did I make the right call? Did I marry the right person? What if things were different? What if I was with this other person who is just as special as I am? Well, that's where the relationship starts to break down. The cracks start to show. You lay in bed at night thinking about someone else. You're no longer seeing the light in your partner and they feel it as well. Things will only go downhill from here if you don't figure out you're probably making a mistake. There's tremendous value in the purity of the before the money relationship, before fame, before everything else, because for the rest of your life, you will wonder if this person coming into your life would still be with you if it wasn't for all the glitter that you've covered your shit in. Number nine, trying to do everything. In the early days, you don't have many opportunities, and frankly, you didn't know what you were going to do with your life. Now things are different. Shiny objects are everywhere. Holidays, hobbies, business opportunities, and exciting projects all filled with potential. 
Back when humans used to live in caves, whenever you found a bush filled with berries, you would eat every single one of them because you never knew when you would find more. But that same brain lives in us today. What if I don't get this opportunity again? I have to do it. And that's when you fall into the trap of trying to do everything. In that process, you start lacking focus. Things get a bit blurry. You become stressed out and you go from order to chaos. Keep your eyes on what's important, Aluxer, and remember that every time you say yes, you're saying no to everything else you could be doing instead. Number 10, selling your soul to get rich. At one point in your climb, you will come across various shortcuts that don't align with your morality. And you have to resist the temptation to get them. If you do take them, you'll end up sacrificing the long term for a quick win. You can't do it without compromise. You got here because you're smart enough, talented enough to know better. We turned down $100,000 to promote an NFT project, and to this day, that's the most money we turned down for a sponsorship. It just didn't feel right, and we were correct not to go for it. The project turned out to be a complete scam, and we saw plenty of other YouTubers and influencers taking the money and pushing their communities to invest. But when you do that, you lose your credibility, the trust that we've managed to build for nine years with you, the Aluxers, could go away in an instant, all for a quick cash grab. Plus, although the money was nice, $100,000, it wouldn't really make that big of a difference in our trajectory. So never sacrifice the long game for the short win. We sleep pretty well at night because of that. Number 11, wealth measuring contests. It's easy to fall into the trap of measuring your wealth against your peers. The problem with that is there's always going to be someone with a bigger boat than you. Even if you end up being the guy with the biggest boat, there's someone out there with more homes than you laughing at how much money you spent on your boat. It's just an unwinnable game. The trap is in not knowing how to control your competitiveness. Everyone else makes it competitive, so you feel like you have to play along. You have to crush your competition, you have to outwork them, outsmart them, and figure out how to get ahead of them. And it's hard to stop all of this once you cross a certain threshold, but you must do it if you want to stand any chance at real fulfillment. You aren't racing against them, you're racing against broke you, so remember that. Number 12, getting backstabbed by those close to you for personal gain. You have friends that were around you back in the day, but with time, the gap between you and them has widened. And because of your past relationship, they still have access to you. Always remember that above everything else, people are going to pursue their self-interest. So if you're no longer contributing to their betterment, they will make a move. If it comes to it, most people will sacrifice you in the process of them getting what they want. Not only will you feel targeted, but you'll also feel betrayed by someone you considered to be close. Number 13, isolation from normal people. Because of everything we mentioned so far, rich people tend to retreat and isolate themselves. They want to be left alone and spend time with those they can really trust. Because of the world you find yourself in, you're no longer in touch with everyday people's struggles. Whenever you meet them and they complain to you about what they're going through, your mind will automatically go into work mode to figure out a solution for them but they don't want to hear a solution, they're just complaining. You need to learn to just show empathy and move on. Find ways to stay grounded. Family is usually your best source to keep your feet on the ground. Number 14, people will say you're not doing enough for everyone else. No matter what you do, you can't win the hearts and minds of everybody. There's always going to be someone finding something wrong with what you're doing. You know that old saying, no good deed goes unpunished? Well, we were surprised to find this out two weeks ago when we announced the Alux humanitarian convoys we did in Ukraine. 
5% of the comments on that video call us hypocrites and hated on our community for helping Ukraine and not helping Palestine or whichever other country on the planet they deem to be appropriate. But look, helping is helping. While you're working hard to make everything happen and maybe do the right thing and help others, there's just always going to be someone throwing shade at you. Number 15. Thinking that you can buy health. You live with this idea you would be able to buy your health at any point you decide to, but that's not true. Earlier this week, we got in touch with a friend of ours, really smart guy who built his own tech company, workaholic in nature. It turns out he suffers from an autoimmune disease. The news hit us like a brick wall. We're roughly the same age, same kind of lifestyle, but you just never know when life decides it's gonna test you. We know we talk a lot about financial wealth, about freedom, sacrifice, and legacy here on this channel, but we want you to take today a little bit slower than usual. We want you to think about what would happen if things weren't the way they are right now. A small moment of gratitude will make all the difference. Although you may not feel like it, you're super lucky to be where you are right now in life, so don't take it for granted. We have a big community all around the world, so we want you to continue this list. Based on your experience, what other traps do you see people with money fall into? Share your perspective in the comments. And for those of you, well, you know the drill, Alexers, here's your bonus. Now what? Let's say you put in your 10 years. You start from the bottom, build the company of your dreams, and then all of a sudden somebody comes and puts more money than you've ever dreamed of in front of you. You take it, you sign the documents, money's in your account. A few weeks go by, the adrenaline drops, and you find yourself waking up feeling kind of lost. There's no purpose in your life anymore. What do you do now? Many of the entrepreneurs we know that have sold companies for a billion dollars plus or hundreds of millions are suddenly faced with the realization that they don't know what to do with their lives. They've spent so much of their time of their identities committed to the company that when the payout comes, it feels like part of you is missing. You can't start another one as you signed a non-compete, but you're accustomed to working. Your body and your mind actually need the stress. And we know this kind of insight isn't relatable for most people, but a subsection of the people watching this video will go through the now what moment at some point. So we want you to take this opportunity and make a game plan for what life would be like post money. What else in your life would you become passionate about pursuing? What's your next phase? What are you shooting for? If you think you found it, write the word next in the comments. We hope that everyone who writes it will eventually reach their next phase. Thank you for being true Aluxers. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.